what is up guys, this is Pris206 and I'm back in to do another Blu-ray showcase and as you can tell by the title and hopefully the, <laughs> the look of the thumbnail, here we have the Interstellar Walmart exclusive Neo packaging, uh, collectible packaging. Uh, <laughs> thankfully my mom was able to pick this up for me like, after she dropped me off from school yesterday. Uh, she said when she went to Walmart there was like three copies left and at that time she was at Walmart it was like around nine o'clock or so so <laughs> these are going pretty fast in my location so yeah pretty cool here we have the Neo case on this side and on this side holds the 48 page booklet that comes in here a little art book so yeah let's just remove this real quick and let's take a look at the back now here's the back really cool gives you a look at the set itself what the gift set includes, three hours of bonus features, the art book, and an IMAX film cell, which is pretty cool. I'll probably buy another version of this movie, maybe the Target Steelbook or just the regular Blu-ray case, to get another film cell because because that those are really cool to have. A little synopsis, then some screenshots from the film, then the digital HD, and then might as well show the booklet a little bit. There's the film cell. Take that off real quick. Here's a little booklet, which is really nice. This is an, an abridged version of the Beyond Time and Space uh, selection of imagery from Interstellar. Pretty cool. There's some nice images in here. Talks about location shooting and all that. Really cool. There's like a, I think there's like five sections in here. Let me see. There we go. There's other contents, which is pretty cool. There's some really nice artwork in here and also some behind the scenes screenshots. So yeah, this is a really cool booklet to have. Here's my film cell. This is a scene early on in the film. Not really ha not really glad with the shot itself, or at least the scene from the movie, but it is really cool to have an actual IMAX uh, film cell. This is an IMAX scene from the film like where it goes full screen. And uh, I have seen some uh, some other people have actual like scoped shots where they're like it's not the whole screen it's a wide screen. So yeah, this is pretty cool. I'm not gonna take it out because it'd probably be a little too difficult to put back in at this time. But yeah, really nice shot. You can see this is the very beginning after the cornfield chase, which is pretty cool. And then there's nothing else inside this case. So then now we get to the Neo case itself. Which is really nice. Here's the back. The little glue is still on it. I'll just take that off real quick. Here's the back, which is kind of reminiscent of the actual, actually the inside artwork of the uh, steelbook from Target, and also reminiscent of the background art of the set itself. So really nice. Mine's came up a little, you know, scratched. You can probably tell a little bit. There's some markings on it, but nothing really too dramatic really cool really like this artwork as well this is the artwork that was used on the soundtrack itself which is pretty cool this is my favorite one personally of the exclusive like covers and all that I don't really like the, st the look of the steelbook and uh, I believe this is the only one with the, the only other one with different artwork so yeah it's pretty nice here's the spine very very thin so yeah interstellar very very shiny this is my first Neo pack as well. I believe the last exclusive Neo pack was the Amazing Spider-Man 2, which came from Best Buy, and there have been some other ones released in every everywhere in other stores and all that. So here's a a shot from the film, which is really nice. Then we open it up wider, and we get more inside artwork, which is very very cool. Is there a seat? Digital copy code already used. Then here we have all three discs. Here we have the first disc, which is the Blu-ray feature film. Then we here we have the second Blu-ray disc, which is all special features. Really nice. And then here we have the plain DVD disc. And then here we have the inside artwork, which is just this is just a very beautiful set. You know, having this now makes me want to get more Neo cases because this is just amazing. And just get Neo cases for films that I don't own. Like, uh, I believe there's Neo cases for, like, nat Natural Born Killers, uh, Gravity just came out, not a big fan of that film, but I saw, I saw that case on a, in a video, and that case looks freaking beautiful, and then also there's, like, Green Mile, Gremlins, there's a lot of movies in these Neo cases that I plan on picking up now after <laughs> looking at this, because this is a very nice, beautiful set, I'm so glad my mom was able to pick one up. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this. Really, really nice set, as, as I've said plenty of times already. 
really really cool uh, so yeah I'm pretty sure I'll pick up maybe another version of this film sooner or later down the line just to get another IMAX film so you know pretty cool I wonder if there are film cells that people get that are like the logos at the very beginning of the film or like the end credits. I have a feeling they would probably cut those out from being released as film cells available in these in these sets because that'd be really kind of disappointing. And I'm glad I got one that's in focus too because I have seen some online that are out of focus and that, that would just be very frustrating. But yeah, this is I believe this is like my second film cell that I have from a movie. My first one would probably be from the E.T. gift set. DVD set. That one came with a film cell too, so yeah. This is pretty cool. Um, glad to have this set. If you see this at your Walmart, pick it up, because this is a very beautiful set. I believe uh, it was only twenty two ninety six something like that, which goes up to like 24 plus tax. So yeah, really cool set to have, and uh, can't wait to watch the movie again on Blu-ray. And that's pretty much it for this video. I'm not sure what's coming out next week on Blu-ray. I haven't looked into it. Don't really remember, not really, I don't think there's anything I'm really looking forward to in April, but we'll see if I do get something, and if I do, I'll be sure to put a video up. So yeah, that's it for this video, and I'll see you guys next time.